it. Okay. Mm-hmm. He the wild sleigh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Everything Fraser Coast, and I'm Jussie Lindeberg, your host, and I'm here with Lee Lee. Hey, Lee. Good morning. And I'm pretending to be a whale because today we're sitting here with Tasman Ventures owner, operator, Robin. Hey, Robin. Hi. Hey. So we're here because we're putting um, the hard word on Robin about how we can get out to go swimming with the whales, which started in Harvey Bay or the Fraser Coast in the last, was it 12 months, Robin, or two oh, years? Two or three, two years probably. Two yeah. years ago. Yeah. So this is a thing. Um, it's a very big part of the culture here in the Fraser Coast is swimming with the whales and obviously whale watching. And because I've been talking to a lot of people um, over the past six months and mentioning that I want to do this, it's on my bucket list, a lot of people have been saying, I want to go with you, Jess. So, Robin, I need you to help me here. We need to find out how much it's going to cost and make this happen so that all these people that are saying they're going to come whales, swimming with the whales with me, I can pin them down. So, tell well, me, when's the best time to go swimming with the whales? We usually say August is the best time to swim with. Whale watching is best of all. Uh, July, August and September and October but swim with is best in August because we can't swim with mothers and calves. Okay. So that's so, so is, is August when they're going north? No, this every we get them when they come south they all come the south. time. Yeah. Okay, so we're swimming just with the males? It's yes. a male male um what what sort of whale is it? Humpback. I knew that. I just had a mental (laughs) blank. It's a humpback whale. Yeah. There would be a mixture because there'd be younger whales that could be females in that as well, but not mothers and calves. Lee, you'll come swimming with the whales, won't you? No chance. I'll be on shore waiting for you all. What's your fear of swimming with the whales? I just don't like the ocean. Oh, you don't like the ocean? Yeah. Can I, I, there's only one thing that's on my mind is, is there a signal when we get in the water with the whales, is there a signal that the crew, Millie and whoever's swimming and looking after us is going to give me or give us if the whale's going to do a number two because I don't what do you have to swim with your mouth closed I have never heard of that happening when they've been in the water but they must do a number two that when you when they do it you'd know (laughs) I've never heard them ever say it happened while they're swimming with so I don't that wouldn't be my major concern no that wouldn't be okay I'd be more worried about a shark or yeah. not a poo so <laughs> just for a visual here getting away from the poo sorry how many people are in the group that go out on the is it a big big, big no it's vessel? only our smaller vessel yeah. which takes 20 passengers total okay. so in the water at one time we would have between four and six Okay. So it's a very small number that we put out so that we've got control over the um, all what's happening. And so when we get in the water, are we wearing a wetsuit yes. and yep. fins and are we snorkelling? No. No? You ha- can have snorkels on. Yeah. Um, we usually keep the people beside the boat as much as we can so they're close that we're under we know what can happen. Yes. And so we've got control over the people. And so quicker to reach if, if need be. It's yeah. necessary, we just pull them inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but so we just don't put them out willy-nilly. They're close to the boat. Okay. So we've got control over them. We've got the other staff are beside the boat and I've got control over them and we can just pull them in safely. Oh, yeah. fantastic. So I won't be touching a whale? No. Oh, I was going to give a big cuddle. We're not allowed to touch whales. <laughs> okay, okay, but you're in the water. How close would you could you they possibly be? <gasps> Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so Lee, maybe rub me down with a bit of kelp beforehand, or come up. To... <laughs> we'll <laughs> find me, a male. For give, that. give me a rub. <laughs> I'm doing give that. me a rub down and I don't think attract so. the whales. I want them to come right. Why you're in a wetsuit anyway? <laughs> Okay, so there's 20 of us in a, a, the smaller vessel. Um, we're in the water, we're in the wetsuit. Um, is it a whole day experience? Yes, we also do. We also go onto Fraser Island on that tour. Oh, really? And do our remote Fraser Island tour where we go. Um, oh, I've done that. 
it's just up in um, Watumba, Barrarity and Awinya areas and we visit those areas as well. So it's a combined tour. Okay, so yeah. you do the kayaking. Yes, um, yeah. snorkelling. And you know, I got pulled behind a boat. That's right. So yeah. all those that as well. Yeah, we do it in the one day, yeah. I didn't know I was going to get to do those things again. That's yeah. fantastic. I've done that. I can highly recommend that. Is, and so then you go give lunch as well. Yeah, lunch, morning and afternoon tea. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So, so okay. what time do you depart of a morning? Half past seven and get back at half past four. Okay, so okay. I'm I'm putting it out there. I'm looking for up to 20 people to be in my group. And I'm looking for, so including myself, I'm looking for up to 19 people who are prepared to pay to go on this in this group tour and um the reason why is because the 20th person robin what are we doing with the 20th person the 20th person goes free of charge and the other ones will also get a discount on their the normal rate so if you join the group everything fraser coast um we can't set the exact date yet but it's going to it's in august definitely um closer how far out robin will we know the date do you think Will it be just a few days? No, you'll. Ha- it would have to be booked because if I have got other bookings, yeah. I can't take you. Yeah. But, uh, that number. <clears throat> but we'll pick just, a date. Yeah. We'll pick, we'll a, pick day. a date and let you know. Okay. Yeah. And and look, there's so much in the day anyway right. that if we go out and we're not able to actually get in with the whales, that's, I can't we take, can still, say yes. Yeah, you of will course you can. Because can't. they're not the right whales, or that's right. You can't predict the future. So, no. No. So but then there's other activities happening yeah, as well. You're so. viewing the whale. You know, out yeah. with the whales, just whale watching as well. Yeah. So it's you will see whales, but you may not be able to swim with the whales. Yeah. We can't guarantee that. Yeah. So I'm looking for at least a group of size of five. We need five people so that we can make this worthwhile as far as Robin giving us a ticket to give away. Um, and we'll put on the details on our Facebook page on how yeah. you can um, enter to win this other ticket. Um, come for a day of fun and adventure and it's definitely beautiful. I can vouch for that. So, Robin, thank you so much. Thank you for Did your you time Did you have any, th- any questions for us? No, I just hope you all have a great day and come and join us. It's a great day. We will. We'll join Tasman Venture. And I can say Robin is a lovely lady. There's a a customer. Okay, we'll say bye, Robin. She's got to go. Over and out.